I'm like really sick of everyone making everything about race. Yeah. Like I'm kind of over it. And I know that I am the one person who's not allowed to say that because I am a white, privileged, blonde, 28 year old. Stasi Schroeder has come under fire once again for making racially insensitive remarks. We've got all the details in today's S Daily. Now, Stasi recently apologized for her treatment of former Vanderpump Rules co-star Faith Stowers. Oh Lord, they saying Faith, can you talk about Stasi and LVP racism? Ooh Lord, girl, that's that about. Girl. But this time a podcast clip resurfaced from 2017 where she was discussing the Oscar So White controversy and complained about black people bitching about not getting nominated. I don't think people aren't being nominated because of their skin color. Maybe you weren't nominated last year because you didn't do that great of a job in your movie. Yeah, your movie wasn't so good. Like, it's not about race. It's literally, like, not about what you look like at all. It's like your acting abilities. So, like, what the actual f***? She then said that when black people get upset, everybody has to go above and beyond to make them happy. But like everyone giving their impassioned speeches about race and all of that stuff, I'm like, why is it always just about African Americans? Like, why aren't the Asians being like, we're not represented? Why aren't like, I don't know, like Native Americans and Latinos being like, we're not represented. Why is it that they're like, it's always just that? The podcast was deleted from her own site but is still available on other platforms. Now this comes days after she publicly apologized for making those racially insensitive comments in the past. She wrote on Instagram, it is important that I continue to take accountability for what I have said and done while pushing myself to do better. I felt like after their friend did something that we both were involved in, that he's done like a thousand times, for some reason, they wanted to attack me instead of him. It was like they wanted to attack, 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 like, you know, I was wrong and I was this and I was that, calling me names, saying my hair was nappy, which is weird coming out of their mouths. And now, Faith said that Stasi, along with Kristen Doughty, called the cops after they thought she was a woman that was accused of robbing people. They called the cops on me. The police say, oh, that sounds crazy. We're not coming. That's not Faith. We looked it up. That's not her. It was somebody else. But it was just funny because they thought it was me because it was a black woman with a weed. So they just assumed it would be me. And they called the cops on me and it didn't work. So. Their co-star Jax Taylor also accused Faith of committing crimes in a resurfaced tweet from December of 2017. A fan asked him at the time if Stowers would become a permanent cast member and he replied, she's wanted by the police for Grand Theft Auto and AWOL from military. Bad idea to be on a reality show, dude. Someone's going to jail. Now Jax cheated on his now wife Brittany Cartwright with Faith that same year. Why would I talk to you about this? You're not my friend. Calm down. What is going on? Someone said that I hooked up with Faith. I am disgusted. Her usual by you. You're going off of her what she said? Oh, what I said? Why she come down here and talk to me and do I my don't know. It's I not said true. Was, I... Now, while Jax did not acknowledge the tweet, Stasi did apologize to Faith, saying that she did not recognize the serious ramifications that could have transpired because of her actions, while Kristen said that she is ashamed, embarrassed, and incredibly sorry.